Hey guys, this is Sam from developerscreed.com and today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress manually. The first thing we're going to do is downloading it. So I'm going to go to wordpress.org click on download download again and save the file. It's a very small file so it shouldn't take long to download it. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to close this because I won't be needing it anymore. I'm going to go to my cPanel and then I'm going to go to File Manager and go. I'm going to go to Upload I'm going to go browse and I'm going to upload the same file that just downloaded. While it's uploading it, because upload is going to take a bit longer, I'm going to go back to cPanel and I'm going to create a database that WordPress is going to run from. So I'm going to go to MySQL databases and I'm going to give it a name. Today I think like Freddy, bedevil D. So create Freddy. And I'm going to copy this into a notepad. That's the database name. Go back. Now I have to create a username for it. I'm going to call this one again Freddy with 1D this time and I'm going to go password generate for me control C this put it here go back to cPanel I have used the password and I'm going to go create a user this is the user, so I'm going to C and Control V. Okay, have all the information. Then go back. One last thing, we need to associate these two. So I'm going to come here, and it's Freddy user. It was Freddy with one D, and then we have Freddy double D. And just going to go add. I'm going to go all privileges, make changes, and we are done. Okay. By now it should have, yes, it's finished. So just going to close this one, go back here, and I'm on File Manager, and I'm going to go Reload. And now I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go extract. And yes, extract it here. Close this. First thing, I'm going to delete this because I won't be needing it anymore. Go inside WordPress, select everything, and click on Move Files. And use backspace to remove WordPress. So it won't install it inside a folder, it would install it in a root folder. Then I'm going to go move files. It's done. Move one up level. And I'm going to delete this folder. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the address of the website, which is in this case, testingaccount.com. It doesn't have to have wp-config, which is right. So I'm going to go create a configuration file. And I'm going to go let's go. Okay. 
and I just have to fill this form database name so C control V username is Freddy and the password is this thing it's localhost and I'm gonna change this one and I suggest you do the same so I'm gonna call this one FTR and I'm gonna go submit and run the install I'm gonna call this block uh, testing block and username and keep the admin I'm gonna type in a password I'm gonna retype the password my email I'm gonna put that one in appear with the search engine so search engine can actually find you yes why not install it and look in the username was admin password is that and I'm gonna go look in okay you're done your WordPress is installed and it's ready to go so if I click here it would actually take me inside the WordPress I hope this tutorial was helpful and have fun